Hello everyone and welcome back to another Zatu Games unboxing with me Tom from The Honest Meeple. Today you join me in my very sunny garden. I thought the weather is beautiful, why not go and sit outside to unbox this brand new expansion for Memoir 44 from Days of Wonder, New Flight Plan. New Flight Plan is an expansion where you'll be able to deploy air units such as fighters and bombers um, to support your troops on the battlefield as you play Memoir 44. Um, so this isn't actually the first time aeroplanes have made an appearance in the game, um, but this is basically streamlining the rules and it's got a lot of lovely miniatures <laughs> and I'll be interested to see what they look like. They look fantastic. So, it's obviously, as I say, uh, it, it's not a standalone game, it is an expansion for the base game. Uh, in the box, you'll find 16 um, figures or, or miniatures. Uh, you'll also get stands to use for the game, as well as um, air combat cards, which allow you to use the planes throughout the game, summary cards, nation markers, and you also get some machine gun and bomb markers. And this will also include scenarios. So, there are 21 new scenarios however be aware that some of them do require other expansion in the game i only have the base game i really enjoy it i think my brother enjoys it even more than me um so yeah this is my first expansion but i'm interested to see what is in the box so let's get inside and see uh, actually we'll have a look on the back first so as you can see, air supremacy was a permanent challenge during World War II. In the Battle of France, the Luftwaffe's powerful Stukas were a key component to the German Blitzkrieg that led them to victory. Over the English Channel, the heroism of RAF pilots saved their country from an invasion. In the skies of Kursk, Solmensk, uh, Smolensk or Stalingrad, many Soviet pilots defended their land against German bombers. Above the Pacific Islands, US fighters put up desperate fights to challenge the mighty Japanese heroes, and when the Allied forces landed in Europe, it was under a constant aerial cover of fighters, fighter bombers, and bombers. At that time, Allied air supremacy was at its pinnacle. So, on the back of the box, you can kind of see what's included. So, that's an actual kind of hand for size. Um, that's a um, B 17 bomber. Um, so, you can see there's Messerschmitts, uh, the B 17 Flying Fortress bomber, Supermarine Spitfire, the F 4U Corsair, the A 6M Zero, and the, um, the Ju 87 Stuka, and many more, apparently. Um, you also have the combat cards to enhance your aeroplane's abilities. And there's just the box there, and just a little reminder saying that you need the actual base game to play this. So, let's crack inside. Oh, I did pre-rip. I did it the other side. So, oh, he's done it. There we go. Let's open the box up and see what we have inside. So, we've got the... Uh, okay, so this is this is the rule book. Um, and we'll probably give an overview of what's inside, yeah. So, you can use... Um, okay, so it can be used with any scenario in this expansion as well as with existing official Memoir 44 scenarios when both players agree to use these new rules. So, you've also got... I see, so you've got, with this expansion, air superiority rules are always in effect. Now when a player has air superiority, he will simply start the game with an extra air combat card. So you can see there, and obviously I'm guessing this will actually match up to real time, um, real events. Um, the, the, the Axis or the Allies actually had air superiority at those moments during the war. Um, you've got the combat cards. Um, you can order an air unit, so deploy an air unit onto the battlefield, all of this. Um, so it's showing you kind of how you can move them. Got the ammo types, air to ground combat, which will be interesting. You get dogfight as well. Um, and you could, you've also got ground to air. Shoot those down. Um, the command cards that you can use. The compatibility um, with the, I believe, the expansions, uh, the, the other Memoir 44 expansions, and how they'll basically fit in. And there's some play examples at the back, as you'd expect, a really comprehensive rule book. And finally, it shows you all the planes. 
So you, these are the fighters. These are the fighter bombers. And finally on the back, you also have the bombers. So this is designed by Richard Borg. So that's the, the rule book. Leave that there. So that's the rule book. You then have the scenarios. So these scenarios are completely new to the game. And obviously you have a focus on on the use of the uh, the new flight plan rules but of course as mentioned it will fit into it will fit into previous expansions as well um, obviously it's important to note that some of these will need will need um, obviously other expansions in order for you to play them so I believe it's going to be yeah so the, the top bit here will show you kind of the prerequisites. Whoops, we're falling over there. I'm going to pop that down there. Um, that will show you the, kind of the prerequisites, which which expansions you're going to need um, in order to play. So it's these up here. Um, if we go back to the rule book, it'll probably say, I believe, because looking at this one. Um, I can't actually see where it says. Um, I think that's that's going to be the terrain pack. That's going to be Pacific Theatre. Um, not entirely sure what that is. is that just the base game. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm guessing that 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 is what is needed to play some of the new expand uh, new scenarios in there. So that is, as I say, there's 20, 21 scenarios in here. So plenty more to get your teeth sunk into. You have the tokens as as explained um, the bombing tokens um, the actual plane um, plane tokens to label them these will go into the bases um, I'll show you that in a second and the ammo tokens and of course um, the the main event the uh, the actual the actual models um, let's put these up here So you could ah, well, I was about to say it's 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 actually uh, quite difficult to get these off, but they're taped taped down, so nothing is going to be moving about when these are shipped. So you don't need to worry about your lovely new miniatures being damaged. So here we go. So you have it's the P forty seven. These are really nice models. It's going to add a lot to the game. I, I tell you what, I used to do airfix a lot as a kid. And I'm really tempted to paint these. Because that will be awesome. And they are all modelled correctly. So this is the, uh, this is the Typhoon. So while they do look fairly similar, planes do look similar. <laughs> they all have the wings, the propeller, but they, they, they have those little elements that are different and they've really matched that in these models. It's really nice to see. Um, so they're the smaller planes. I mean, the smallest one by the looks of it is the... Uh, is this one here. F109. I believe it says in the box. That's tiny, but again, the detail is still there. So definitely paintable. Okay, so they're the they're the smaller planes. Take those off. Put the lid back onto there. And finally, we have. Oh, look at this. So this is the B-17 bomber, the Flying Fortress. Look at that. As models go for games, I, I as I say, I think my my airfix excitement as a kid is coming out right now because these look awesome you even got the uh, the the turrets on the bottom you can see there it's going to focus look at that fantastic um, 
show you another one as well. Look at that. A lot of thought and a lot of effort has gone into these models. It really has paid off. I'm looking forward to adding these into the game. So, there are a few of the models. As you can see, there is, there is a, there's a fair amount of, of models with the game, so there's no, you're not going to have a lack of them, so don't worry about that. <laughs> Do not worry. Um, so, the other thing is we have a deck of cards. No jump cut now, because I am going to do it, whilst I'm on video. Here we go. Hey! Right. So these are... Ah, these are the air combat cards. Um, ah, right, might help if we... Uh, so you've got the SWAs, the air rules. So they'll just be... Ah, yeah. So it just shows you the different fighter bomber and bomber, and obviously there's a set for each for each player. Obviously this being a two-player game, and you've got all of these combat cards: fighter boom and zoom, there's a pilot initiative, and just the orders on the command card. Just played order one air units anywhere on the battlefield. At the end of the turn, draw another air combat card. Also got. Precision bombing. The bomber performs a standard attack run. Rolls two dice for each bomb marker. Hits are also scored when rolling a star and flags cannot be ignored. Um, and then tank and bunker busting. Okay, so there are just a few of the cards. I don't want to spoil too much because we'll go into in depth. We'll go in more in, into more depth during the uh, the review of this. And finally, you have the stands. So these these will be used for for the planes. Um, they've each got a post that just fits into them, like so. Obviously that one's already fitted, um, but there's two more stands. So two more posts. It looks like they've included some spare ones actually, which is nice to see because unfortunately these are the sort of ones that will break pretty easily. Um, not intentionally. It's just kind of how it how it is. Um, so they that is the miniature side of the expansion so we can pop that all back in there um, it's a good storage solution um, you're not going to have any damage on that so that is everything with the new expansion for memoir 44 new flight plan i hope you've enjoyed this unboxing if you've liked what you see and you want to find out more, I'll be putting up a review of this, seeing what it adds to the game, whether it's worth the value. I'm sure it is by the looks of it. Um, but you can find out more in my review, which will be going up very shortly. If you're interested in this game or any other games, you can go on to zatu.co.uk and you'll be able to find a whole treasure trove of games to purchase. If you fancy a little bit of discount, you can use the code HONESTMEEPLE5 at checkout to get 5% off your cart total. As I said guys, I hope you've enjoyed this. Please do join me again for another video, along with all of my other colleagues who put a lot of good content onto the channel. And as always, I will see you all next time.